Uh, so we're in the elementary math group, and we went over, we're going to go over the measures of central tendency. And we'll discuss what those are. I'm Colton. I'm Jacob. I'm Chris. And I'm Megan. All right, first off, um, what do you know? What, does anybody know what the central measures of tendency are? Does anybody have any idea what they are? We're learning about this in math, so everybody should at least have an idea. <laughs> Yeah. I heard it back there. Yeah. Mode. Yeah. Yeah. Um, can anybody describe what they're used for? Like an application to like real life? Great. You're trying to take the average score for a class, a test? Used to like summarize data or information. Yeah. Alright, so this is just a video that's going to introduce you kind of <coughs> what this whole thing is about. They are the mean, median, mode, and range. Now I'm on to get A's. D in little mode is most. Range is the difference of the high and low. The mean is just another way of averaging. I'm gonna get A's. This is 
uh, you can use this as a future teacher to see if um, a lot of your students, it's kind of like mean if your students are kind of in the middle, if they're doing good on the course, if they understand what they're doing, or if someone is just completely off canter. Um, you got to remember though when you're finding median that the data set must be in order. Can I see that? Yeah. Because if you have a data set that's 1, 2, 4, and 8, and 10, your median, you calculate it by uh, just finding whatever the middle is. So what I like to do is on short data sets like this, I just cover my hand and I work my way in. And so the median is 4. But if this isn't in order, so you have 1, 4, and then 2, 8, and 10, it'll show that your median is 2, which is wrong. So when you're finding median, it's really key to make sure that uh, your entire data set is in order. stuck with me and um, that's just the most often data so you can see in the, in the example like in that data set there's three fives and that's just the most I mean there's no, no other number that comes close to being there that many times so it's the most. And then range is just the uh, difference between the greatest and least value of the data set so uh, for example for this one the greatest was 15 and the least was 3 so you just subtract the two and you get 12 that's pretty much just the range. And so. All right, we're going to need everybody to stand up and come to the front of the room. And you're going to line up and put, you go by age, so the youngest people will be here and the oldest people will be there. So just kind of line up and we'll go through. So everybody kind of go through and we'll give you a little bit of time to find the mean, median, mode and the range of this data set and we'll go through as a class and kind of go over it. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
if you have two numbers that occur equally the most? Yeah, there can be more. Yeah, there can be more. Than that. We need some spankings down here. <laughs> some discipline. Some yeah, you're right. I'm sorry. You need to put them in the hall. We're not <laughs> it's, it's, it's detention, please. They do still paddle in the south where my sister and her teaches. I'm like, yeah. Those kids don't act out. Everybody getting close to done? Got at least two or three of them? Yeah. Alright, first we'll start with the mean, which is the one I did. So can somebody tell me what the mean is before we start? Kind of like a review for everybody. Yep. What it means? What does mean mean? Oh. <laughs> 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 okay. And how do we find it? How do we find the mean of the data set? Uh, you add all of them together and then divide by the number. So in this case, divide by 22. Okay, so we're going to add them all together. I'm just going to do it on my calculator, so we're going to add them all together. While he's adding up all the numbers, I'll just quickly do the range. And to uh, recap on what the range is, it's just the greatest value of the data set, which is 34 in this case, sub uh, subtracted by the lowest value, which is 18. And 34 minus 18 equals 16. So in this data set, the range is 16. All right, so what do we get for the total of the data set? Can we draw out a number? I put the wrong number on the board, you don't want better. 491. Okay, anybody else get that? Yeah. What'd you get? Oh. Did you get that? Yeah, that's what I got. Say one more time. 491. Okay, we got 491. So that's the total, and then in order to find the mean, we take it divided by the number, uh, the number in the data set, which is 22, right? Oh, so yeah. divided by 22, so 491 divided by 22 is equal to approximately. 22.3. So from when we find the mean, we know that the average age of our class is somewhere around 22. So the average age of our class is 22 years old. Okay. So what is mode? Someone tell me what mode is. Just in general. Most How do we find it? What's that? Most frequency. Okay. Anything else? All right. It's the most often data. So. When we look at our data set, we can see that we have 419s and 421s. So that means our mode is going to be 19 and 21, which is at the same time. And then for median, does anyone remember what median is? The middle. The middle, yeah. 
And so it kind of sucks when you have a bigger data set like this because doing the hand thing isn't as easy. But you can just cross it off the same amount, the beginning and the end. So we'll do it by fives. One, two, three, four, five. So we're left with 21, 21, 21, and 21. And so we'll work our way in. And so then our last two numbers are 21 and 21. And so when you don't have an even number of uh, even uh, number of data points, you find whatever the middle number is between these two numbers. And so the difference between 21 and 21 is 0. So you add 0 to the uh, first number. And so then what's 21 plus 0? Yeah, so that's what I mean.